you had an ice bath last night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll get like, I've got the hotel to order um, 10 buckets of ice. I've filled the back, bath up with cold water. You don't really have cold water out here, but the coldest water, yeah. throw it all in, and then I'm in there for like 10 minutes. Start my day. 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. I can do about yeah. 60 seconds. Oh, really? <laughs> you have to work up to it, you know, the next day 90, then one minute. But it's, I think it's just like so necessary, so important, especially when you've got like yeah. fast paced lives like us and you're kind of like working constantly. You've got a really good to start the day. Me and Bart were talking yesterday that it was so important from a mental point of view to kind of silence that negative voice in your head. You always have the positive voice, the motivation to say, I can do it, I can do it. The one said, oh, you're too tired, do it tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. And then when you can silence that voice and you can actually fight through it, then that'll set you up for a really strong day, right? You know? 100%. It's not only that, it's been scientifically proven. Like really, there's a part of your brain that grows when you do things that you don't want to do. So you yeah. do hard things, then that actually grows and makes things that you don't want to do, makes them easier to do. Mm. So it's actually been scientifically proven. Yeah, yeah. It's all part of it though. I mean, like, it's like that's part of our daily routine for like a state tech and what we need to do, because obviously we need to make sure we get our, our heads right. You know, we're doing so, so much on a day-to-day -day basis. We've got to make sure that we're just very active and we're just on it really, you know what I mean? Because we one minute we're, in Dubai doing this, the minute we're kind of over here or we have to make a call or speaking with this influencer or barting with the legalities, the property side of things, you know what I mean? I'm doing like the marketing, the business development, so there's so, so much you've got to be able to like, you know, once we kind of get into that routine, whether it's fitness, whether it's the mentality, the ice baths, it really kind of like helps take the whole daily routine to the next level. So everything else is just so much more easier. It's scientifically proven as well to like reduce the stress, isn't it? So like when you get the stress, you get like um, a lot less, you get more, you can handle the stress more. You can handle things yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, so far so great. I mean, it's, Dubai is always an eye opener, you know, with the, the level of luxury and it almost kind of like shines a light on the privilege that we have, you know what I mean? Like a lot of the world is really struggling at the moment yeah. and what people see as a struggle out here or as a luxury out here is completely different to the average world as well. So it just kind of like highlights the massive gap between the rich and the poor, which is getting worse and worse. So realistically, we want to be making sure that Estate Tech is breaking down those barriers yeah. and offering the facilities to reduce the gap between the rich and the poor as well, yeah. with the financial literacy, with the disruptions to the banking system, and obviously the fact that anybody can go onto the real estate ladder. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter literally how old you are, obviously you have to be over 18, but it doesn't matter like your background, it doesn't matter if you even have a good credit rating or not. Anybody can invest in real estate with as little as $100 and actually we're empowering you to be making multiple streams of passive income as well. So it's really important that being out here just highlights the fact of we're on a mission to help reduce the gap between the rich and the poor and help that level that playing field so everybody in life can have access to certain things. So that's the beauty of fractional ownership. You can own a fraction of a, a yacht, you can own a fraction of a penthouse, you can own a fraction of a golf course, so to speak. So we're here looking at some of the, the best properties in Dubai, but we're also looking at all the general properties as well. We wanna be giving our investors a diverse portfolio. We're gonna have a platform, it's kinda of like a remix between Tinder and Amazon. You swipe through the different buildings, click, a couple of clicks, add to basket. We're making investing in real estate as simple as online shopping. So. This is a perfect, I'm glad you asked that question because even if you have $100, $1,000, a $1 million, you can invest in this because you're buying a fraction. So obviously if you're investing $100, you're buying a smaller fraction, investing $1,000 is bigger and so on and so forth, it's all relative. So we're here just scouting as many different possibilities of what we can have from this amazing city on our platform, basically. But we're gonna be worldwide. We're gonna have opportunities in UK. We're gonna have opportunities in Dubai, America. We wanna give as much diversification as possible. But that's the beauty of what we're saying, just to clarify. You can actually get in with as little as a hundred dollars, and it doesn't. You're, we're not going to discriminate. Be like, okay, you only have a hundred dollars, so you can only be with this small property. A hundred dollars, we're going to give you access to everything, and that's what a statex is all about. It's financial freedom. It's accessibility. <laughs>
first impressions of Dubai, um, well, I've been here multiple times. Um, every time I come back, it's always growing, getting bigger and bigger. You always see construction everywhere. Um, I first came to Dubai uh, when I was 20 years old, when I was like traveling when I was younger. Um, it's changed a lot since then. Um, so every time I come back, there's just bigger and better things. Um, as I mentioned before, just the level of luxury out here is great. The one thing that I really do like about Dubai is though that most people that are in Dubai aren't actually from Dubai. Um, these are people that have come from all around the world to actually unite in this city with a common goal. Everybody wants to better themselves. Everybody wants to kind of take their life to the next level. So there's an air of motivation. There's an air of positivity that you don't really get opportunity exactly that you don't really get from back home. Um, back home, you have the areas of opportunity, but you have a lot of people, maybe could be friends, could be family that try and bring you down because they're in a certain situation themselves where Dubai, the majority of the people are here to kind of really take their lives to the next level so it's like networking is great over here um, growth is great over here and it's just you you get that feeling of motivation as well so that's one of the impressions that i feel as soon as i get off the plane in dubai i'm like yes okay i've arrived what we're we doing let's take over like me personally since i was 15 years old i made the conscious decision not to watch the news i feel like it's very um, brainwashing it can kind of like condition you to put yourself in a box um, i like the fact that you know with dubai you don't have that level of censorship over here i like the fact that you know like you say it's it's very positive and um even it really is inspiring you know what i mean when you come here you think okay wow well we're at a certain level but we want to get to a higher level and action hey guys i want to thank you for watching if you have any questions drop them below we hope you enjoyed this video and see you a little bit behind the scenes and catch you guys soon cheers